Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, call her lawyer, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and the elders at Great Millstone, who always rule well, to the hopeful elect that's continuously prophesying the destruction of America and bringing this good news of the coming of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, and all fear shall it want. And this is the brother Quinaa from the, the GMS Birmingham Trumpet Camp. All right. And hey, it shouldn't be no problem. Okay, we're doing the work, man. Okay, because this is your salvation, man. All right. The scriptures say, uh, charity cover a multitude of sins, man. Okay, Yahweh Shah said, okay, uh, my burden is light. Okay, my yoke is easy to bear. And what's that yoke? All right, and what's that burden that's light? That's doing the work. All right, doing the work of Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, so that really shouldn't be no problem. Okay, doing the work. Okay. Because this is your salvation, man. Once you get this planted and rooted in your head, that this is your salvation, okay? And Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, all right? We'll repay you, man, okay? It shouldn't be no problem, man, okay? Because we want to get up out of here, man, okay? This is uh, the book of Proverbs, all right, chapter 20. I'm going to start at verse 4, okay? Because, man, it shouldn't be no problem, you know, we're doing the work, man. Okay, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 20 and verse 4. The sluggard will not plow by reason of cold. Therefore shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. And that's right, man. That's your repercussion, okay, uh, uh, for being um, slow at doing the work, man. Being a sluggard, man. Being lazy, okay, with the work of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Hey, it's, it's, it's finna get cold, okay, in America, all right, and around the globe, okay? This is this is fall, all right, but but the winter is gonna come in. Okay, you're not gonna see a lot of these so called Hebrew Israelite groups on the highways and byways, okay, doing the work of Yahweh Shah, man. Okay. I'm gonna read it again. Proverbs twenty and twenty four. The slow God will not plow by reason of cold. Therefore shall he beg in the harvest and have nothing. And like I say, man, that's your repercussion for not doing the work, man. In the time of harvest, you shall have nothing, man. In the time when Yahweh, Yahweh Shah shall visit this earth, all right, come back on those chariots, man. All right, when Yahweh Shah come back on those chariots, all right, to deliver his salvation to his elect, okay? If you was a sluggard, all right, about doing the work of Yahweh Shah, man, don't look for salvation, man, all right? Don't look to be saved. Look for that eternal judgment, man. Okay, we, we're true. We are doing the work, man, because we want to be the governed body of Israel, man. We want to be the next rulers, not just another Hebrew Israelite in the kingdom, man. Okay? So, we want to reap, okay, which is salvation, man. That's what we want to reap, salvation. Nothing but salvation. If you're not in this thing for salvation, hey, you, 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 are, you, are, you are in the wrong operation, man. All right? This is Proverbs 20 and 24 again. The sluggard will not plow by the reason of cold. All right. Therefore, shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. All right. And that's and that's just simple and plain, man. OK. In the time of Yahweh Shai, the return of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, you, you shall not reap salvation, man. OK. And it's simple and plain, man. So it shouldn't be no problem with doing the work, man. You know, that, that's that's a commandment from our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. And I'm going to get that. This is the book of uh, John 13. Okay, and I'm going to start at verse 34. Okay, it's the book of St. John, chapter 13. All right, verse 34, and it reads, A new commandment I have given unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. And what's that love, man? All right, this truth, man, this knowledge, man. All right, and read it again. St. John 13 and verse 34, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. All right. Verse 35, and this is the point. By this, all right, shall all men know that ye are my disciples if you have loved one to another. Okay. So sitting at home, man, all right. Is 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 not showing the love, okay, to to the sheepfold that we or, or the or the lost sheepfold that we try to bring back to Yahweh Yahweh Shai, man, 
All right, sitting at home on the keyboard, shallow warming and leaving precepts, which is that's 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 a good beginning. But hey, once you get this knowledge, man, you got to go out on the highways and byways and hedges and teach as you was commanded, man. All right, that's how we're gonna reap salvation, man. Doing this work, man. I'm gonna read it again. St. John 3 and 34, a new commandment I give unto you, and this our Lord and our Savior Yahweh Shah speaking, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. And that's this truth, man. That's Yahweh Shah dying, all right, being that sacrificial lamb for we can for 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 us getting this truth, all right, in this 2017. All right. Verse 35. By this all men shall know ye are my disciples. And the word disciples means servant, man. All right? By this. What, what is this by this? Going out on the highways and byways and hedges. All right? Proclaiming the downfall of this wicked kingdom in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Continuing in the works of Yahweh Shai. If ye have love one to another. All right? One more time. St. John 13 and 35. By this all men shall know that you are my disciple. All right? Like I said, sitting at home, nobody's going to know that you're a servant of Yahweh Shai. You got to be out on the highways and the byways. By this, all men shall know that you are my disciple if you have love one to another. If you out teaching, all right, the coming, all right, of the next rulership, which is Yahweh Shai's rulership under his father, and we being the hope for the elect, okay, being the, uh, uh, the next rulership, which are the Hebrew Israelites, okay, to, 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 to get the next rulership. Okay, preaching the coming of the kingdom. All right, that's the love uh, that you should give one to another, man. And not just to an Edomite. Okay, you do love your enemy. Okay, you tell Esau his judgment. You tell the, the other heathen nations their judgment too. But also, and you give two-thirds of Israel, all right, their judgment. That's loving your enemy, okay? But love one to another is bringing in the elect, man. Letting Israel know who they are, man. Letting Israel know who they are. And that's doing that on the highways and byways and hedges. That's doing the work, man. All right. That's that's the, that's how you're going to reap salvation, man. You know, doing the work is, is important, man. This is the most important part of your salvation, man. Okay. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 19. All right. In verse 15. And it reads. This is the book of Proverbs 19. All right. In verse 15, and it reads, Slothfulness cast into a deep sleep, and a idle soul shall suffer hunger. And that's right, man. A idle soul shall suffer hunger, man. Okay? Slothfulness cast into a deep sleep, man. All right? So if you're not uh, 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 fervent about doing this work, man, if you're not on fire about doing this work, man, all right, you become idle, man. You are idle soul, man. You shall suffer hunger, man. All right. You, hey, ultimately, you're not going to reap the kingdom, man. Okay. Which is salvation, man. All right. Verse 15. So like, uh, verse 16. He that keepeth the commandment. Okay. Which we just read. Keepeth his own soul. But he that despiseth his ways shall die. And that's what we just read, man. All right. So what is that? That's doing the work, man. Okay, keeping the commandments, keeping the commandment of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, man. All right, which is doing the work, man. All right, trying to lay, lay hold on to eternal life, man. Okay, this is your way to salvation, man. Doing the work of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man. So, so why not want to do this, man? All right, Proverbs 19 and 17. He that have pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. And what's that pity unto the poor, man? Giving them this word. The same way you got it, man. Freely you receive, freely give. Okay, as the scripture says, roughly paraphrasing. And that which he have given, will he repay him? And there it is again, man. All right? That's 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 your payoff, man. Okay? Doing this work, man. That's that's That leads to salvation. I'm going to read it one more time. Proverbs 19 and 17. He that have... Pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? And, and, and you doing the work, okay, of Yahweh, all right, why Yahweh Shai? That's storing up your, 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 your bank account, man, your, your heavenly bank account, your spiritual bank account, as the book of Matthew speaks of, man. 
Okay, storing up your treasures in heaven, man. All right? You think you're not going to get a payback? Okay? Yahweh, why you have a shot? It's not a, it's, they are not men that they should lie, man. Whatever they, they say is going to happen, man. And you're going to get your payback for doing this work. And that which he have given, will he pay him again? See? And that's salvation, man. That's that's covering, all right, in this upcoming destruction, man. All right? That's a seat on those chariots, man. Okay? Because no one knows, okay, the day or the hour, man.